Hey there YouTube. Today I am doing a video on the what you will need to buy to make a very cheap quadcopter or octocopter or hexacopter or even tricopter which still has GPS functionality. So what I'm really doing here is providing the links you'll need to get everything you will need to build the best copter you can for the least amount of money. So to start out with, I I recently sold uh my previous quadcopter and with the money I made from that I am now building an octocopter. And so I've bought everything I need for it and I thought I'd share this with you so it makes your lives easier. So first thing up I'll provide all the links and then I'll explain what you're getting. So this was the first part of my order and this was the stuff I ordered from America's warehouse. Uh, I ordered from two warehouses as the postage would have been e excessive otherwise. So the one thing you'll need uh, if you don't have any other models to controllers or if you just want to upgrade your controller is one of these. It is a transmitter that takes modules. Now the reason you'd want this transmitter is it's very customizable and because it takes a module you can put in one of the essential parts of a multi-rotor and that is a multiple channel transmitter with telemetry. So this is the Turnergy 9XR. It's got lots of channels and lots of switches and can do a lot of things including program custom software. Now you don't need to make specific software for this but you could if you were into programming or you can download specific software for it. So this is really a recommendation because uh, if you have like a five or six channel it's not going to cut it for the for the sort of more hardcore multi-rotors. Anyway that is fifty dollars and that is a, a very good price um, especially in England it's much it's uh, quite cheap uh, and it does exactly what you want. Now you'll choose the mode you want mode one or mode two. Now the next thing, the important thing, your module. So when this loads you'll see a module that goes into the radio. In this case it's the Free Sky or FR Sky. This has a range of about two and a half miles which is excellent and probably the best you'll get on 2.4 gigahertz with the stock. Uh, and it also features telemetry and that's very important because that'll give you your battery voltages and your signal strength and those are the two things you really want to know when you've got a multi-rotor so you'd get that and that would plug directly into the transmitter the 9XR uh, which you can program with all sorts of on display functions so now that you've got that you'll need the battery voltage sensor that is very cheap I think it's three dollars far cheaper than any other sort of sensors you can get plug straight into the board uh, work straight away very good so once you've got one of those you will need the telemetry display screen now this it, it, it adds up but you really these are the sort of things you want for an all-in quadcopter but all the stuff I'm showing you right now is stuff you don't really need this is more uh, if you're starting from scratch uh, you can skip on a bit for the stuff you'll actually really need so yeah this is the display screen that will tell you your signal strength and your voltages and allow you to program alarms so this is all still optional stuff you've got your wire I won't show you that because it's pretty obvious Shri heat shrink tube you'll really want this if you're going to make your own wire harness and you'll need the frame now you can make your own frame, it can be made out of wood, it doesn't matter or you could buy a relatively inexpensive frame like this one $30, that's about £20, that's not bad and that's a very nice frame so you'll need one of those and you can get a hex, quad, tri, whatever um, they'll all do so now we'll be going on to the stuff you will have to get and this is the stuff where I found the best prices you can possibly get for the things you're getting. So the first thing is your speed controllers. Now, you're not going to need anything past 30 amps really. 
because I mean that that's pretty good for a speed controller so I've got these speed controllers birdie 30 amp ESC's very good work very well and most importantly they were in stock so um, very simple ESC's they do all I need them to do two to three cells very good and I can reprogram them with the Cymec software so the next thing you'll need um, I had nine dollars very good price the cheapest is seven dollars and to be honest but ESC's are very reliable so I'd go for those and the fact that you can program reprogram them very easily um, yeah so we have the batteries now these are you're really looking f for a quadcopter doesn't matter how big or small it is you 2200 milliamp batteries are the cheapest batteries you can get for the capacity and the nice thing with lipos is you can do a thing called putting them in parallel where you'll make a, a simple connector harness where it just connects two batteries into one power chain effectively and that gives you lots of capacity the ability to charge two batteries separately which means double the charge uh, sorry half the charge time and it also means if one fails you've got the other one and really it, it's both a backup uh, it's simple it's very easy and it's very very cheap <laughs> So see, $11 for a 2200 milliamp battery. Now, when I was looking to get a 4000 milliamp battery, not even a 4400 as two of these would be, you're looking at around $30, and that was the cheapest I could find. So already you've cut out $10. So we'll go without those. Next thing you'll need is your connectors. Now these are a big one. You don't want to forget your connectors, because otherwise you're just going to have trouble. Uh, in this case, I'm going for the connectors that are already on the batteries. It just saves them getting messy. And what you would do is you'd get two male ones and connect them from positive to positive and negative to negative, and then uh, the harness going off, and that will allow you to connect two batteries into a single power line. Um, one thing to note: you must always charge both batteries to the to full, basically, because if one's more discharged than the other, it may over discharge in flight. So yeah, that's that. Um, next thing is the most important thing is the motors. Now the motors you'll see here are really the best ones you can get. And I'm not even just talking price range, they're really cheap but they are really good. And these are the ones I had before. They give you a lot of power. See 380 watts, that's a lot of power. Uh, and they're still relatively low turn, so you can put some pretty decent sized props on there. Uh, I had 12 by 6, and you see 12 by 6, and I get flight times of up to 15 minutes on a 2,600 milliamp battery. So that that was a, <laughs> and that was on a quadcopter. Uh, and these can take up to four cells, which is very good. Uh, very very versatile motors, and the fact that they've got these very nice shafts that are pretty much every propeller you can buy will have a fitting for the the two I think it's 2.5 mil sh uh, motor shaft or four millimeters actually um, so yeah uh, oh and the biggest thing the amount they can lift for the size so this is a three selling it can lift almost two kilos that is very very good so the other thing you'll need is the battery for the transmitter so again this is an optional one if you have your own batteries for your own transmitters um, just a relatively cheap one again 2200 milliamp hour sorry 1000 milliamp hour quite cheap uh, six dollars you'll see it's only four dollars less than the 2200 milliamp hour battery so you see what I mean about 2200 milliamp batteries being really cheap for their capacity and that's because lots and lots of different models all use 2200 milliamp batteries so now that you've got those, those are really you, you're surprised at what it is, but you need, for instance, eight mo eight ESCs and eight motors if you've got an octocopter or six or four. Um, so it does add up a bit. Uh, and for me, I bought four thousand four two thousand two hundred milliamp batteries, of which I can run two in parallel uh, each flight. So that's effectively two batteries. Um, now that we've done those, we come on to the the real the real the stopper this is the exactly what you want so you go RC timer 
uh, AR do flyer 2.5 now this is the best board you can get anywhere for the price that there, there isn't anything better uh, well for the price I mean the DJI NASA that is I think about 500 pounds which is a lot more in dollars <laughs> and then you've got to actually buy software to allow you to use waypoints it's not like it doesn't support it they just charge you more for the luxury of having waypoints which is where this comes in so you will actually want a one with telemetry and GPS I mean you can b get all the bits separately but it's better if you get them all it comes to a better price uh, now the RG Flyer I believe is a clone of the a uh, RG Pilot 2.5 um, the RG Pilot uh, is more mm, it's more expensive but it's exactly the same other than you have to solder this one's pins on and you don't that other one so GPS and telemetry what the telemetry allows you to do is effectively have a wireless USB link to your computer or your phone now I was working with a guy called Arthur to make uh, a software called Droid Planner for Android phones and devices and it allows you to plug your USB telemetry into your phone or tablet and actually link it to your tablet rather than bring a computer to the field uh, and of course your GPS so $140 that's about uh, £80 and that will suit you that will that does planes, that does helicopters, that does quadcopters, it even does cars. That's really what you want. So this one has a magnetometer, a barometer, um, an altimeter, uh, I think that's the barometer actually, um, and of course the GPS, the Mavlink, uh, and the magnetometer is a compass. So that's what you need. It's really, it doesn't sound like much in terms of parts you need but it is those are the real necessities now we can go on to things like your gold your gold plated uh, connectors these are for plugging in the ESC's into the power you know and then you've got your wires which I told you about earlier and then your want wire harnesses etc and one thing you'll really want to get is cable ties and the reason I say this is if I can find the motor, yep. Yeah. On the motor, they come with a motor mount. Now, you can't buy these motor mounts separately. If that, once you've got one, if it breaks, that's it. <laughs> so, what you want to do is secure these to your frame with zip ties. So, put a zip tie through each hole and through the mounting point on the frame. So, if you do crash, the zip tie will break and your motor won't. Uh, if you bolt them on, then your frame will break, you, your motor mount will probably break and your motor will probably break and in fact zip ties often give way before the props so your props will break. This is really what you want to do. Uh, zip ties are also really cheap so uh, it all does you. So that was $287 for 8 ESCs, 8 motors, wow, 8, eight batteries so lots and lots of stuff and it all works out um, so really if I'm thinking about it that is it oh one other thing if I go into propellers and then you'll want carbon nylon now the thing is carbon fiber propellers are actually only maybe a few grams lighter than normal propellers but they're a hell of a lot more dangerous and in actual reality they aren't all that much stronger so what you want to do is go middle ground not completely plastic and not completely carbon fiber so get carbon reinforced now here you get 12 pairs for $32 that's more than enough for an octocopter hexacopter or quadcopter whatever and they will suit you um, they kinda offer the best of both worlds they don't they're not like flying razor blades but they're also not like uh, really fragile and stuff. Although to be honest, the plastic ones never really bothered me when one broke. I just they're, they're, they're cheap as chips. So I've got tutorials about RG Flyer on my YouTube uh, channel. When I mean you watching this video right now, so you should be able to see the others. This is the board you want to get. So I'll post all the links below. But 
I think that's about it. Thank you for watching and goodbye. I did actually forget to mention prices. So with everything, and I mean everything to build a quad cop, so that includes the controller, lots of batteries, like 12,000 milliamp hours worth of batteries, which is a lot, um, and uh, a video camera and everything. I'll give you the rough price. So I've spent about, let me think about this, I've spent about 480 pounds yeah, about four hundred and eighty pounds. And four hundred and eighty pounds in dollars is around six yeah, about six hundred and fifty dollars. So you'll be looking at about six hundred and fifty dollars for a octocopter with everything. Absolutely everything. Um now for a, a hexacopter you'll probably be looking at about maybe five hundred and ninety dollars. For a quadcopter, you're going to be going quite far down now. You're going to be looking at about 500, maybe 490-ish dollars. Um, and actually, tricopters will be about the same because you've got to buy extra stuff for a tricopter, and it's more fragile. And uh, so, I'd say, I mean, it's a bit of a well, it's quite a bit of a difference, but in the long run, it'll pay off if you get an octocopter because it'll lift pretty much anything you want it to lift, even a small pet. <laughs> so yeah, um, maybe 650-ish dollars for an octocopter with everything, uh, which is about 400 and something pounds, or about maybe 300 pounds for a, mm, for a um, bleh, hexacopter. <laughs> So yes, thank you for watching and thank you for listening through my rather monotone, monotone tutorial.